Hey, this is Al from Transformational Gaming. Appreciate you coming by. Appreciate you coming to the channel. Man, I am just so excited about where the channel is going and how things are going. I mean, I'm already up to 150 subscribers, man. And I know I prefer it was 150,000 subscribers, but hey, man, you got to work in this gig, man. And so really i've been putting in uh, the work i haven't been putting up videos lately i understand but that's because may was a crazy <laughs> difficult um busy month for me so thank you again for uh the near 150 subscribers i think we actually at 149 but yeah we just one subscriber from 150 man so that is halfway to the goal and granted we're halfway in the year but i remember saying at the beginning of the year that i want to get up to 200 subscribers and it's mid point of the year it's almost june and we at 150 so i think we're on track to get to 200 this year and that's that's what i want and i want us to exceed that if we could but yeah getting into the topic today we want to talk about my thoughts on horizon forbidden west and what can i say this game ticks all the box it checks all the boxes great game great gameplay awesome graphics vegetation constantly swaying back and forth the graphics are on another level just because of how lifelike I mean if you really take a look at the graphics and I plan on uploading this in 4k so hopefully you guys be able to see some of what I'm talking about but you can actually like you usually get one or the other right you usually get either the leaves swaying on the trees or you get the tree swaying back and forth but you never get both. <laughs> so like like this game has the trees and the leaves swaying constantly in the background uh, to the wind and all the other stuff. Then it got the vegetation that's swaying back and forth. And this is all during gameplay. I don't think the first horizon I have to look, but I don't think the first horizon had it. I, I know it moves once you went through the tall grass, but this game specifically has all the check boxes when it comes to like realism my hair is swaying the leaves are swaying you know the lighting i mean i finally was able to get me a hdr monitor so even though i always had a hdr television i never had a hdr monitor and uh having a hdr monitor definitely has its uh, pluses when it comes to being able to examine exactly what you're going to be able to see on the TV screen when you actually play the game in 4K or whatnot. And thank God I was also able to get a, a, a OLED, a OLED TV as well. So, um, and I'm loving it as well. But um, we'll talk about that uh, in some other video. But as far as this is concerned I mean yes I'm really able to see all of the lighting effects and all, all of the the animations I mean this game has got to be in the Guinness's <laughs> book of world records when it comes to animation I mean everything is like I, I've been playing Uncharted I'm sorry Last of Us and Last of Us Part 2 and Man, playing out on an OLED television is phenomenal. But there's some static background in the game. I mean, that game doesn't always <laughs> have animation in the background. Not like this. Like, this is like on another level. The animation, look at all the plants and the fish. And then the enemies in the foreground. Then Aloy is in the foreground. And it's just, <laughs> this is a different level. I mean, this is absolutely one of the best looking games, 
technically, objectively, of all time, just based on what it's doing. It ain't. It doesn't. It doesn't not necessarily have a like a sharp, a extremely sharp presentation, but it's sharp enough to where it seems like it's sharp just because of all of the lighting effects that's sheening off of her hair and you know i was listening to digital foundry they was talking about hero lighting and stuff and how it looked like she got a halo over her head but you know whatever i think all of that stuff looks great so uh, you know applaud to sony applaud to guerrilla games i mean i think when this game comes out it's going to have a captivative audience and it's going to definitely move units because this game is just you just never seen anything like it I mean everything animates <laughs> there's nothing static about this game everything is in constant motion now we've covered the low hanging fruit <laughs> okay um, because there's a concern that I have with this game and the, and the concern is what everybody's talking about and what everybody assuming that it's going to have and that's a 60 frames per second mod now I know people have come out and say yes it's going to have a 60 frames per second mod but notice that you're not hearing anything from Sony or Gorilla about it <laughs> okay which is another concern on top of it like you got professionals saying of course digital foundry saying that of course they're going to do it blah 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 but the way this thing is animated don't get me wrong i understand this is the ps5 so we're expecting all of this but to me if they do come out with a 60 frames per second mode there's going to be some serious concessions I think they're going to have to involve inside of the decision to make this 60 frames per second. And one of them is all of the animation. Now, again, the animation looks great. The graphics are great and looks like it's putting up a, a constant 30 frames per second output for... Uh, the graphics but man it's going to be hard to go back to 30 frames per second I'm not going to lie to you and I'm not going to say I'm, I'm not going to do what I'm doing with Returnal <laughs> I'm actually uh, campaigning against that <laughs> so um, and don't even worry, I know I got a video up of it of me playing but I mean, really, I, I'm done with that game until they build some type of save or something like that. I mean, or at least some type of difficulty level. If they're going to keep the game like that, I understand the Returnal uh, label and stuff. But if they're going to keep it like that, I don't think I'm going to go back to that game. But neither here nor there. I mean, I'm not going to necessarily do that with this game but I'm going to want to like if this game doesn't have a 60 frames per second mode like and, and, and the reason why I say that is because sometimes you know just because you can make a game look a certain way uh, or, or, or be you know have a vision for a game it doesn't mean that you should come out with that vision Maybe you can wait to the PS6, <laughs> okay? But to me, if you're going to have all this animation in here, and, you know, which is beautiful, you know, it's beautiful. But if this is all going to be for not for 60 frames per second, because at the end of the day, this game is a open world game, right? <laughs> this game is an open world game. So that means that it's relying on this gameplay to keep you busy. But the problem is, is that the gameplay is going to be compromised if this isn't 
60 frames per second. I mean, you got to make this game 60 frames per second. Gorilla, if you listen to me, Shu, if you listen to me, you got to make this game 60 frames per second. I, I understand, like, this game is beautiful, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. This game is is, is extremely detailed and immersive. I mean, it has everything going for it. But the frame rate. And I'm telling you that people are going to wait for the PC version of this game. They're going to be, as soon as this come out, and it's 30 frames per second. People are going to shift their mind to the PC version of this. They're saying, hey, look, Gorilla made a PC version of this before. They're going to do it again. Blah, blah, blah. And people are going to be waiting for the PC version of this, which may not come out. And so, so what are we supposed to wait for PS6? Because I just think that, man, it's just it's going to hamper people's perception of the game. And, it, you know, for me, it's all about gameplay. I mean, a game like this looks phenomenal. I want to play it. But, golly, man, at 30 frames per second, like, it's going to be nice to look at. But you're not going to want to really play this game on a big screen at 30 frames per second. It's just not going to work. It's just not going to work, man. It's, it's not going to work. I'm telling y'all right now. When people start playing this game, I mean, it's going to be nice. It's going. I, I mean, I have total faith in the game. I definitely want to play it myself. But, man, it's going to put a real damper on it if it's 30 frames per second. I'm here to tell you, there's a lot of people that don't care how good this game looks. They want to play this thing 60 frames per second. And if this is 60 frames per second, I'm telling you right now, they're not going to have all this animation in it. I mean, it's just... I mean, unless they keep that at 30 frames per second or 15 frames per second and maybe that would help out a whole lot but I mean this game not being 60 frames per second I mean because I'm going to tell you right now all, all, all my, I don't even try out the <laughs> the detail mode on this game I really don't and I think it's just I think if Sony comes out now and say, hey, look, we're going to come out with a 60 frames per second mode. I think people will be a lot more at ease. But you guys had this trailer out for a little while now. And there's still no news on that. So, anyway, there's some other concerns I have for it. Um, I don't like the sliding gameplay <laughs> uh, that plague this game and plague other games but I can live with those issues I can live with those issues it's just this so anyway how do you guys feel about it again as a close to 150 of you guys subscribe so I'm hoping to get a few comments but let me know how y'all feel about the game and, and the gameplay I mean I'm really looking forward to it I got so many people on Twitter uh, that are responding to me, and I appreciate that as well. So, let me know how y'all feel, man. Uh, will 60 frames per second be a deal breaker for you? I'm not saying it's a deal breaker for me, but man, it's gonna be close to it. <laughs> it's gonna be close to it, and don't get me wrong, there's a lot of things about this game that is going to be awesome, awesome, man. But God, not making this game 60 frames per second is like. It's like feels like regression. <laughs> it feels like we're back to where we were. And I, I hope that I hope that Sony listens to to us and and not treat us like a minority. Treat us like we're the people who 
best going to represent this game and put a 60 frames per second mode in here because I'm very concerned about it. All right, let me know what y'all think. This is Al from Transformational Gaming, and we are done.